All right, so I guess with the most popular woman in the building right now, Ash, how does it feel to be here in Brisbane? Yeah, it's a bit bizarre. I mean, this is this is my backyard. This is where I train. I have all these people coming in, um, taking up my space a little bit. But no, it's it's nice to be kind of flicking past uh, the training and getting into the tournament mode. And it's really nice to be able to start here in Brisbane. It's been so wonderful walking around this tennis center. You see all the legendary names of Australian tennis, and you've had just one of the most historic years last year. Does it feel a bit different this Aussie summer here? Uh, yes and no, obviously I feel like I don't fit in with those names whatsoever and I know that uh, you know there's been a few more pictures and different things put up around the place here but I, I, I want to take them down myself. I, I know that I, I don't belong up there with, with those legends. I'm just trying to do the best that I can and, and trying to be the best version of myself that I can be uh, but really excited to, to be able to start another Australian summer. Um, there's, there's absolutely nothing like it. Well, I've been talking to a lot of the drivers and fans around here and they're all so inspired by you. Does that give you a little bit of pressure or kind of spur you on a little bit? No pressure, no pressure whatsoever. I think for me it's about really enjoying this time of the year. Uh, obviously, as a Grand Slam nation, we're, we're very lucky to be able to to get the support that we do, um, especially here in Australia. The first month of the year, it's really special to be able to start start the year at home, but, you know, to be able to spend that extra, a lot of the time, even if it's an extra week, not having to worry about travelling in your own bed, uh, those little things. So I think uh, the amount of travel that we do, it's certainly nice to, to have one on our side this time. Now, you and I had a little bit of a chat off camera about the body might. Now, can you just tell us how that came about? It must be pretty cool to see yourself on something so famous in the grocery stores. Oh, it's an iconic Aussie brand, yeah. and uh, it was amazing. I actually know the, d the day that it was released, I was, I was in Woolies myself and, and walked down the aisle, and I kind of just turned a, turned a blind eye. I didn't want to see it, but it's, it's amazing. It's, it's really cool to be able to link up with an iconic Australian brand, um, you know, Vegemite's. I mean, I, I travel with it. I still do. Uh, you know, I have it most mornings. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a way of life here in Australia, I suppose. Now, lastly, I must ask you, it's been a really tough time for Australia over the last, you know, recent period. And I know a lot of the players have banded together to be able to help out. How did that come about? Yeah, I mean, there's some, been really, some really, really nice initiatives from, from tennis players, from cricketers, from people all over the country. And I think for me personally, um, I, I saw the first of it when I was flying home from, from Fed Cup, um, flying back over the east coast of Australia and could see some of the fires from the plane, which was, which was really shattering. But it was nice for, you know, for me at that time. It was um, yeah, early November. This has been going on for a couple of months to, to be able to donate um, to the RSPCA back then. And, and it was nice to know that those funds have, have been used, um, that they've, they've gone... I mean, straight to, to what's needed, and now it's about also looking after people that have been affected losing their lives and their homes, not, not just the wildlife. Well, I hope you guys continue to raise a ton and have a great summer. Cheers. Thank you.